Best water exercise with pool noodles, part two. Make sure you check part one and also amazing workout where I'm combining all of those moves into one hour workout. Welcome guys, this is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Magena. Let me show you my best and favorite exercise of 2020. Yes, these are my picks, but I'm sure that I will convince you some of those are yours too. These are moves that I would like to talk a little bit about, explain you how to do them, what mistakes to avoid, and show you all of those from the deck and also from the water, yes. You already know that. I'm super excited to finally introduce my underwater camera. I know this is gonna bring a lot of great benefits to my channel and I hope you're gonna love it. These moves will be added to the future workout, so make sure you take 20 minutes to learn all about them. I promise you're gonna love what's coming in a future weeks. Hey, if you are new on my channel, make sure you subscribe and check all the playlists. There's over hundreds of different workouts. Some of those are in the water, but there's plenty that you can do on your mat, at home, on your chair, inside, outside, everywhere. That's what fitness, anytime and anywhere, is about. I will explain you how to do each exercise correctly, what equipment to use and what mistakes to avoid. Pick your favorites and select to make your own playlist. This way you can always find them. Hey, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you always click that like button. Share those videos with your friends and family. That helps me to grow my channel and I do appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Let me show you my best and favorite moves of 2020 with Aqua Noodles. New workout coming every Saturday. Make sure you check my Facebook to see what's next. Number 26 is Sideways Shuffle with Rainbow Squeeze. With this exercise, we're gonna need a little bit more space. We're gonna move sideways to the other side of the pool squeezing noodle in and then we're gonna open up those arms keep your feet close to the bottom and make sure it's a pretty big step way wider than your shoulders we will have a tiny bit of bouncing up and down but again it's tiny bounce so don't jump up too much deal with that resistance do not bend your knees but also don't lock your knees just keep them slightly bent, or I would rather say soft. Keep your core engaged, shoulders back and away from ears. You can move sideways for six, for 20 moves, however you want to. Another transition is sideways shuffle, but this time we're gonna push noodle away from us, like so. And then on your return, you're gonna pull it. You do wanna keep noodle just a little bit below the surface. Here, moving sideways, you're gonna use the other hand to help you get to the other side faster. And then again, you're coming back, you try push noodle sideways. You can push it down or away from yourself. As before, you wanna make sure that your core is engaged. Yes, it matters. This exercise mostly works your inner thighs and out thighs along with your arms, but just by that, that you will remember about keeping your core engaged, you are getting such a great abdominal exercise no matter what you actually do in the water. So hey, why wouldn't we do so? I love incorporating shuffle into workouts and you will see this next month. There's gonna be plenty of motion exercise in our new routines. Now we're gonna do twist into the knee. I know you already saw this move in the previous part, part one, but this one is slightly different. We're gonna switch tempo and we will be pushing noodle away from us. One, two, three, 
four and then you're going to pull it closer towards yourself and that will allow you to move faster so switching up tempo and range of motion will make it more challenging for your core and arms or less challenging give it a try and see how fun this one is to see how legs work below the surface, make sure you check that part one for the video. Next exercise is cross country skiing, but this time we are pushing one side down. Noodle is on one side and you're gonna push it down with each jump. You are tucking your knees up right here. That was the previous version when we were just holding the noodle and trust me, holding it on the side with the push down movement feels very, very different. Not only are you gonna work your arms more, but you will be forced to engage your core so much more just to maintain the position. Is that fun or what? I know it is. Give it a try and discover the difference. In my future videos, I would love to mix up all different versions of those exercises. So I do recommend you practice them on your own. And then I, I promise I will deliver the best workouts very, very soon. You can move your other hand if you want, or you can stabilize the position. Remember, you don't lean forward or backwards or not even sideways. Next exercise, number 30, float and relax. Well, this is something that you will find in my future videos closer to an end of the workout. You can just lie down on your back and go with bike-like moves forward or backwards. You can open your legs out and in, put your head all the way back, or you can just completely stop the motion, disengage every single muscle in your body and allow the water to carry your body on the surface. This feels so relaxing. And this will always be closer to an end of the workout. You will love it. I promise, where am I going? I'll be back. Next exercise is cross country skiing, but this one is very fast and short. This is something that I love incorporating during interval training. Comparing to the other version, this one is very, very intensive. Look how small those leg moves are. Knees stay pointed forward with noodles. It's a little bit more challenging. You want to avoid rotating your knees out to the sides. It's all about pushing them front and back. 32. Alternate back kicks with front push. We're going to kick back right, jump over and left. And noodle will add so much to this exercise. Yes, because it makes the pushing movement way more challenging. Avoid splashing water too much. I want you to keep that noodle below the surface on your way out and on your way in. Remember to engage your glutes. Keep your core engaged. Keep your toe down with that back kick. You are kicking back with your heel. Next exercise is one of my favorite ones and this is great for core. I'm going to show you two leg option and then one leg option. So you're going to begin in this position, holding the wall on your exhale, pull your knees slowly in toward the wall, but you don't have to touch the wall. You can actually end it up right there where your knees pass your hips and then allow those legs to float back and engage your glutes. Do not let your lower back to be overarched. Now, if you choose to pull those knees all the way to the wall, that's fine. There's nothing wrong, but you will try it and notice that going all in will not, it's not giving you more. You actually gonna take all of it once your knees are passing your hip level. So right here, and then you can start floating back. You want to remember to keep your feet exactly at the center of the noodle. 
moving your feet just a little bit off to the side will result in very very challenging you you're just not gonna be able to balance well so always take a moment and make sure your feet are where they're supposed to be super important that you always exhale with movement in and then slowly inhale when you return to the starting position now if you try this exercise and you find this too much try one leg at a time and here look it's way way easier here also you don't need to pull this knee all the way in toward the wall you're actually gonna stop again somehow below your hips you know what's best the best workout you actually are getting if you alternate those two moves so i encourage you you take a moment and practice do 12 of each and just alternate them over and over again Keep track on how many you did on one side because you know you owe the exact number to your other side. In a future workouts, we will have very quick transitions from one exercise to another one. That is why, again, I trust that you will take your time to practice all those moves with noodles and you're gonna be so ready for the coming workouts. Control your breath. Now, another thing that you can try with this exercise, you can pull yourself all the way in toward the wall, like I'm now, and then you can push yourself gently away. You still be holding the wall, but you're gonna notice your shoulders move away from the wall. It's just gonna add to the challenge. It is more fun. So experiment. The noodle that I'm using today is not a professional noodle made for aqua class. It's a little bit lighter and it has this hole in the middle. To be honest, it can get annoying sometimes. So I do recommend you use professional noodle that's meant for aqua class to take the most out of your workouts. Guys, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. And this one is also a little slower piece. This time you keep your foot on them exactly in the middle. And again, you press your down, press it down, diagonal lift. You can begin by holding the wall and then once you get stronger core muscles, you should be able to maintain the position. The other leg must be grounded on the bottom of the pool. When you begin, you may not be able to go all the way up to the water surface. That's fine, just do best you can. The range of motion will be better every time you try it again and again. Your position really, really matters. You don't wanna move your shoulders side to side. You don't wanna bend forward or tilt backwards. You almost should feel like you are a ballet dancer. You, you're gonna engage your deep core muscles to stabilize the position. Your toes are slightly open out to the side. And again, let me remind you, your foot must be exactly at the center of the noodle. It really matters and it's really gonna make it so much harder even if you move one inch off to one side. What is this exercise giving to you? It's giving amazing core workout. And by core, I don't mean just abs, glutes, muscles surrounding your back, and yes, abs along with it. If you find that you're doing better holding the wall or putting your back against the wall, that's the way to do it. Have fun and make sure you do the, the same number on each side. Next exercise, this is a floating lunge or half split, and that's our number 36. What I want you to do is just put noodle under your knee, maintain the 90 degree point flex underneath, and with your arms, do your best to balance. 
This exercise you will also find closer to an end of our routines. This is relaxing and we will be holding it anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. Yes, our muscles need minimum of 30 seconds for the relaxation and stretch. Five seconds will not give us much, so make sure you always take your time. After you hold it on one side, you owe it to the other side. But before you go, try this option. This is a full split. And for this one, you obviously need more flexibility and it's a good idea to hold on to the wall before you let it go eventually. See which option works for you best. Control your breath and have fun with it. This is such a great exercise and that's something you're going to see in many of our future workouts. Yoga, Pilates, yes, we can do yoga and Pilates in the water. Also, it's going to be a part of cool down and stretch. Let's switch leg and again. Watch me again. This is the option where we are holding the wall, toes are down on the bottom, the other leg has the 90 degree point flex underneath. It's a great hip flexor stretch. It's a great hamstring stretch. This exercise, this position will open up those hips. If you struggle with back pain, this exercise should also be on the list. And guess what? In the water where we are weightless, this feels so good. Once you get more comfortable with the position, allow your body to just float on the surface. Next exercise is also something that you're gonna find during stretch and cool down. Let's bend side to side. Our feet are shoulder width apart with feet grounded on the bottom of the pool. The movement here is only from waist up. Please notice that I'm only moving a little bit. Once you notice that you are going downwards, you went too far. It's all about reaching to the highest point over the head and then going slightly to the side, just to feel those muscles attached to your lumbar spine to get a stretch, that's all. But it's not about noodle touching the water or proving yourself how really really flexible you are just a tiny bit here is huge also notice that i hold noodle right in front of me so in case it was completely wet the water dripping down would not make you wet but that's not a reason why we do it we want to actually avoid overarching our lumbar spine tempo of those moves is very slow and controlled very slow and controlled. Let me say that again. It's very important. Spine stretches. I love those. We're going to climb up on our toes as we are rounding up our spine and pushing noodle forward. Fully exhale so you can see how you exhale on the surface of the water. Next one is great for obliques. We're going to bend knee to the side here, elbow to hip or knee, and then you're going to reach over. On your exhale, knee to elbow, exhale and inhale. The better you stretch, the better your squeeze will be next. We are supporting ourselves on the noodle instead of the wall because that makes this exercise more challenging. If you find this too hard, you can basically place your other hand on the side of the pool. That's fine. Once your core muscles get stronger, you will be able to find a balance and do it with noodle. One more time. You want to place your palm exactly in the middle, at the center of the noodle. When you squeeze it, I want you to exhale. Reaching over, I want you to inhale. Think about reaching across, moving the elbow back and above the ear. Count how many you did on one side and then do the same on the other side. This next position is also part of the next stretch. You're gonna keep your feet closed and you're gonna reach to the side. After that, you're gonna switch side. 
Again, begin with pointing your toe to the side. On your exhale, squeeze and stretch. And squeeze and stretch. I always encourage you to do minimum of 12 reps, but if we can do two sets of this or even three, that would be wonderful. Take your time, practice this move. Make sure you don't end it up moving forward, bending forward. We specifically want to move to the side to target those tiny muscles that are quite often forgotten. You can also imagine that you are standing in front of the wall. Once you push your knee forward, instead of to the side, you're gonna bump your knee and that's gonna correct your mistake faster. Fully exhale and enjoy it. Split jumps in the house. Now these are mine and yours favorite. Push noodle down and kick both legs out to the side. If you want, you can do one leg out to the side or both even better. Now cross leg with side to side stretch. You already saw that one. Again, you would think that it's exactly the same stretch that we did with our feet shoulder width apart, but trust me, it's slightly different and you will feel the difference only when you do it. This one you're gonna find in a video where I combine all the moves. It's number 42, crunch and squeeze. Well, yeah, you have to jump out of the pool. You're gonna move your shoulder blades over the towel or the mat and you're gonna squeeze that noodle. Now you can choose to focus firstly on your inner thighs, squeezing the noodle. And I have noodle bent in half, but you can just squeeze one side of it. Here, I'm moving my shoulder blades up. I'm pressing, imprinting my belly button down toward the tower or the spine, and I'm taking a little bit more from the abs. Workout. Number 43, knee to chest, and we're gonna circle toes out and in. Now, is that comfy or what? Hey, our aqua exercise do not have to end in the water. I encourage you to do some sort of moves, even warm up on your towel on the mat before you begin. And I assure you, you're gonna enjoy this one and the next one. The next one, I want you to just lie down, support your neck with the noodle, close your eyes, and just let your body to absorb the amazing workout that you completed. Let your imagination take you to the best spots on earth. Noodle will support this natural curve in your neck and that just feels so good. Focus on your breath and try disengage every single muscle of your body. Take as much time as you need to. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please subscribe and like this video.